back here again with Ben Thomas. Uh, beer number five. Beer number five, as is now standard with uh, my guest reviewers. Uh, we've done a, we've, you know, really run the gauntlet of different beer styles tonight. And this one is no exception. This one is another large bottle. Meantime, London Porter. Ooh. In a champagne style bottle. Wait, look at the cork. It's got a cork. Alex. My Why first beer put, with a cork. Why would you put a cork in a beer? No idea. No, I think it's just showing off, really. Yeah. Um, I've never... Uh, like, I've had Mean Times London IPA, you know, which strikes me as quite American. Yeah. Um, so... This is the London Porter. The London Porter. Uh, but this is the only bottle they sell it in. This is it. This is where you can get it. I mean, the tasting notes from the book. From its statuesque 25-ounce champagne cork enclosed bottle pours a rich, dark and complex beer. With caramelised currants, coffee and charred oak notes on the nose. It has burned rum, caramel and chocolate on the palate, which gives way to a pleasing but astringent finish. Well, this is not a 25 ounce bottle. 750 mil, but a fluid that's ounce. What, that's what it says, 25 ounce and 750 in brackets, mil. 750 mil. Yeah, that's not quite right though, is it? Well, like, not to be a pedant, but 25 ounces, you are, you are being fluid pedant. ounces is a bit more than, than okay. 750 oh, mil. Okay, that's fine. Sorry to be a massive. Or is it less? Um, Never mind. It's from London, uh, in England, obviously. First brewed in 2005, uh, 6.5%. Strong. Um, That's strong for a porter, isn't it? No, I wouldn't say so. Not not in the current... For a classic porter, yes, strong, but not in the sort of the newer style. Um, but it's, you know... Champagne cork. I don't really, you know... It's ridiculous. It's it, ridiculous. If we so, shake it, will it explode? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing we that. We can drink it out of our shoes like we, Daniel Ricciardo. No, we've got, we've got the the uh, the uh, beer towel ready. I don't think this one's going to be quite as lively as uh, as the uh, Belgian beer we did. No. Well, if it's a porter, it shouldn't fizz at all, really. No. Don't really understand why it's even got it at all. Um, I can't even bloody get it. Can you? Is it? Yeah. Also, it's got look. It's got a uh, a depression in the bottom, yeah, which like is, you'd expect in a red. You no, know well, that's wine. actually for though. That's actually for the thumb. Yeah, that's for the thumb. It, it's it's good for the thumb, but I think red wine bottles have those, right? Uh, in order oh, to I hope this makes a lovely collect noise. the sediment into a ring around the side. I don't know, it's making noise. Hey, there we go. It made the, the lovely noise. That, no, that is what that is what a, a cork. In fact, I would actually say that on the basis that a porter is not fizzy, and you can see there's nothing coming out the top. The, and the only reason they've got that is because they're ponces at Meantime Brewery, and they like a the sound of a cork popping because they do. So let's have a, let's have a go at this, shall we? Oh, that's a that's a lovely glugging noise. I love a glug, and I love a pop. A bit of carbonation. More than you'd... More, more, than, more, you'd more than I'd expect out of a porter. Well, I mean, clearly they actually... They, they do expect it for that, otherwise they wouldn't have had it. Um, the cork. Right, uh, this won't be bottle condition, so that's fine. That's on the side for me. Well, you never uh, know what mean time are getting up to. Uh, I mean, I do... Must say, I do like mean time's branding. It's very, very... You know, um, whenever you see it, you know exactly who it is immediately. And it's it's quite minimalist. They don't, they don't say, literally just say the brewery and the type it is. There's a bit of blurb on the back, but it's absolutely It's an unbelievably small print. Tiny small print. As that, you are uh, signing away life rights to, no, yeah. never mind. Yeah. Sounds That's fine. fine. Um, so let's have a smell of the London Porter. It smells good. It smells almost meaty. You'll never describe a beer that isn't a Marzen as meaty once you've had a Marzen. Okay, I've not had a Marzen. But yeah, this is sweet. This is really sweet. Right. It smells like slurry in a good way. Slurry? Good, oh. good slurry. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I'm getting more and more into dark beers recently. That is, that is a nice beer. What do you think? 
that is a grower like my initial reaction was whoa what no but the the, the aftertaste is nice mm. you have got it does taste a bit chocolatey actually like dark chocolate um yeah not like cocoa pops no um a little bit of fruit i think um don't really get the coffee too much in it which is are actually fine i'm with. just getting coffee like there's something that, that there's a definite coffee-esque bitterness oh it is quite gassy isn't it oh yeah it's nice though i really like it I didn't know what you know. I didn't know what to expect from it because I've only ever had. I've never had in the meantime dark beers before. Uh, there's a couple in here. The meantime London Stout is in the book as well, which uh, which we won't be doing. But I have got that bottle ready Why to go as well. Why have stouts or porters when you can have milds? Well, yes, but they don't do a mild. So um, well, that's their fault. Well, it's a different style. This book is all about experience in different styles. Yeah, no, no, fair, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and this is. A really nice porter, I must say. Um, yeah, I'm probably not the best person to comment on a porter because I don't think I've ever had a porter I've really liked, and that's clearly more of a personal taste thing than anything else. Because I'm sure I've had a number of perfectly decent porters. It's unlikely I've just been having bad ones all this time. Do you know why a porter is called a porter? I once did. It's something to do with the place it takes in the brewing cycle no nope. no nope. it means porter means carrier as in the hotel porter yes because the greater quantity of this beer was consumed by the working classes who were the carriers yeah really yeah there you go as i know milds were popular with miners due to the high mineral content it says here it is a thick and strong beverage and the effect it produces if drunk to excess is the same as that of wine but this porter costs Three pence the pot. What, so they're saying you get drunk if you drink a lot of alcohol? Yeah, but it costs... But, but, but it's cheap. It's cheaper, so for the working class... That's, is that's not how I choose to advertise my beverage. It's not advertised that way. That's, okay. that's the description of porter in the book. Okay, right. Okay. Um, and we're talking about the original style of porter where if you have working class in London or elsewhere, they may choose to go for this over something else because it was, it was a way to have a very strong beer. And not pay a lot of money for it. All right. It seems a slightly, uh, slightly elitist way to look at it, being like, "Oh, those poor people who just want to get smashed and don't, you know, the the elegances of an IPA would be lost on them." I know there's the elegances. I think it's the fact is sometimes you know, for people who where life may have been hard for them, and I'm not talking about the current working class. I'm talking about you know, I'm talking about you know, hundred years ago, where people may have had hardships and they may have wanted to drink away to, to forget about those hardships so maybe the they current went... working class might have some hardships too you know? oh i'm sure the current working class have got hardships but i'm talking about the, the historical definition mm. of why it's called porter yeah no, fair, which fair, has no fair. bearing on today's situation because you know, that has no bearing on what the beer style is called now you know, now meantime london porter is certainly not enjoyed by the working classes no, um, well, I mean it's got a champagne cork. Yeah, champagne cork. It's, it's clearly aimed almost, at people who see themselves almost, as somewhat sophisticated. Almost a pastiche of the original porter. Um, uh, the, it's cultural appropriation, that is. It is cultural appropriation. It's completely unacceptable. Um, I can't believe they do it. Let's have a sip. Mm. I mean, this is terrible certainly... people drinking this and culturally appropriating the working class. Of the early 1900s the early 1900s you know i hope i haven't offended any of them so basically this beer is from peaky blinders what's peaky what's peaky blinders it's a tv show it's on netflix it's really good I don't really watch television watch peaky blinders it's got killian murphy in. i only really watch star trek you know the entire star trek back catalogue is now on netflix is it? That makes me very happy as a as a Star Trek fan. Um, it's not a beer whatsoever. In fact, in Star Trek, they didn't even have beer anymore. They had synth the whole war, so the officers didn't get drunk. But that's by the by. Um, this beer is. <coughs> it's 
Excuse me. This beer is a great beer. What do you think? Now you've now you've had a chance to have a few sips. It is nicer to my tastes than any porter I've had before. Well, great. So, that's really, really good. Uh, I've had better porters before, if I'm honest. I've had quite a few different types. This is really nice. It's quite stronger than I would like. I think you can still pack in that amount of flavour to a lower alcohol beer. Uh, but it is really nice. Um, uh, I, I mean, for me, it definitely passed the litmus test. Have this over Doom Boy any day of the week. How about you? Yeah. It's just, it's a bit more interesting. There is certainly more going on. I'm not sure if I want it to be going on. Why do you not want it to be going on? I don't know. Like, just, just, just basically, there's an extent to which this isn't my natural type of beer, so I, I'm never going to appreciate it to the same degree well, I might appreciate no, I similarly th- quali- a, a qualitatively similar IPA. No, I get that. And and actually, for me... This Still better than the Duchars, though. Yeah, that was terrible. That was awful. Um, go back and watch a review for that. Um, but I, I've been challenging myself with the beer reviews. I know there, there were absolutely tons of dark beers in this book, and I've actually had quite a few so far um this is definitely one of the best dark beers i've had yeah actually, by, by a country mile it is growing on me it's growing on me i often find with dark beers the first few sips it takes a while to me to for, for, for my kind of brain to adjust to what i'm having but now that i'm getting into it it's developing quite a nice feel on the basis the first dark beer i did which was a christmas sale from austria um i think it was the first beer i reviewed I couldn't finish it because it was so sweet and it was so nasty. And I've also done, you know, um, I've done J.W. Lee's Moonraker and Old Slide by RCH. This is much better. This knocks them all into a cocked hat. This is is not as good to my mind as West Berkshire's Mag's Magnificent Mild. But that's a mild, it's not a porter. Yeah, I know. You can't compare apples and pears. But that is an absolutely incredible beer. And for someone who doesn't generally like dark beer, Okay. but A, that's a mile, so you can't compare it. Also, it's not in the book, so you also can't compare it. Well, I'm sorry. There are no West Park spears. Um, Stop it, right? How, how can you have a book that doesn't have any West Park Well, because it can't, it can't encounter every single brewery that potentially exists in the world. I mean, West Park is one of the leading worldwide I'm, brewery, isn't I, it? I'm surprised. Is it just, is it here? No, I'm surprised West Park is not in here on the basis that Windsor and Eaton are, which also is also another Berkshire brewery. And there's two in here, and in fact, I've East got East Berkshire. No, that's, I've, that's not Berkshire. And I've got a black eye. It's still Berkshire. I've it's got a. a it is. Um, not since the abolition of Berkshire as a ceremonial county. <sighs> you know what? We've almost hit thirty minutes. I think it's the longest review I've done. <laughs> I think we'll leave it here. I don't want to get into ceremonial counties. I think this beer is good. Best dark beer I've had so far. It's nice. Better than Red Stripe. Yes, it's better than Red Stripe. Like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.